Hello and welcome back to this week's video. In this week's video, we are adding my dream fish to this fish tank. So these dream fish will grow too big for this fish tank. So in about a week's time, I am trading this fish tank out for a 700 litre tank. So it'll be six foot by two foot by two foot. So it's gonna be absolutely huge and it'll be perfect size for these fish to grow. So let's head to the fish shop right now. Grove Aquatics now and the package is secured. Wait till we get back to my house to see what we've got. Right, so we're back in the car. Thanks to Rob for taking me to the tackle, uh, the fish shop and getting these fish. But I've been wanting these fish for so, so long and I finally got them. And I'll explain at home why I can now get these fish and I couldn't before. So I'll see you when I'm at home. Right, so we are back from the fish shop and I've got a net and some food for these new fish because these fish are bigger than these fish in here, so the different sized pellets. So at the moment, I've been feeding these fish uh, some micro pellets. So at the moment, we've got in here some angel fish, some cichlids, uh, clown loach, and red tail sharks. And then we've got two little tetra that are going to be a problem. So I'll show you what I'll do with them. So let me show you what we have got here. So here we have got two Oscars, and I've wanted these fish for so, so long. So we've got an albino Oscar and a normal fire oscar and they look absolutely awesome and the colors will come out more when they settle into their new tank but these fish would probably more than likely be able to eat all the tetra uh, the two tetra in here so i'll show you what i'm going to do with that and they should be fine with the angel fish for the amount of time that they're going to be in here because these are only going to be in this tank for about a week and then after that week most of these fish are going apart from like the suck fish uh, red tail shark and the clown loach that will probably be the only things to say oh and maybe the cichlids i'll see how the cichlids get on with the oscars so let me start acclimating these and i'll show you what i'm going to do with them tetra so as you can see now in the water the oscars are about the same size as the angel fisher so we shouldn't have any problems there but i'm so excited for these oscars i've wanted them for so long but i've not been able to get a tank but I spoke to my mate he called me up earlier saying he's got a big 700 litre tank and he'd be happy to swap my tank for his tank so because he doesn't need a tank that big uh, and i will and it will fit along this wall perfectly so it would go up to about there on that wall and it'll fit this wall perfectly and i'm super excited for it let's get these guppies and little tetra into something temporary so let me show you what i'm doing now right so temporarily we have put these fish in there in that little tub over there and we will see how they do in there and if we need to move them we will so it's currently kind of floating about so i'm getting tied down in a sec uh, i just need to figure out some way how to do that so let's go on and to release the brand new fish into this tank all right so let's bring you close and let's get these fish in the guy really struggled as you saw in the clips to get these on that big tank uh, at the fish shop so these aren't even the easiest to get on the bag never mind a big tank and there we go the first fish is in just down there and we'll see how well he does with everyone else and let's get the second one in that one just got scooped a lot easier and here we go for the second one there he goes right so the fish are in and let's leave the net off to dry and we've got the new fish food here as well so this is what we'll be feeding the new fish and yeah it looks really good as you can see one of them are over there already and i'm so excited for this tank uh, that little box up there with the tetron that is completely temporary it will be sorted by tomorrow i'll just put that there i'll get like a little cheap fish tank to put my bedside table something for them tetra and guppies or or i'll see if my mate has any room in one of his uh, community tanks if he wants them but yeah i can see one of them over here and the feet, uh, the white one, I don't know where it is. Oh yeah, you can see it right at the back, down there. So I'm super excited for that and I'll jump on to me in the morning, ready to feed these fish in the morning. I'll let them settle in for tonight and I'll feed them right in the morning. So let's jump on to the morning. It's about two days later. 
since we've got the fish, all the angel fishies fins are perfect, none of them are nits. They're all getting on just fine. And the same goes with all the cichlids, the clown loach, the smaller angel fish, even the small. Everyone is getting on perfectly. But aren't these fish just absolutely stunning? I'm at, I'm, you can't believe how excited I am to actually have these fish. I've wanted them for so long. And all the fish inside that tub are fine. We're going to get them a little tank from my bedside table very soon and get a couple more little shrimp and stuff for that. But I've wanted these fish for so long and I can't wait to see the growth. And if we go here now, we can look back at this clip here. This is compared to my hand, how big these fish are. They aren't right next to the glass, but there he is quite close to the glass and you can see he's not very big and he is just a baby he's gonna get so much bigger so in a couple months time we'll have another look and he'll probably be double the size of what he is now in a couple months time i think they grow about an inch a month which is so much so that fish will grow about that much every month so in about two months time he would literally nearly be double the size of what he is now but they're so cool watching the meat uh, he's been eating a lot. I've been feeding them quite a bit to get them growing and make sure they're eating all fine, considering they've only been here for two days. Right, so we've got the fish here and I've deliberately not fed them today. It's about one o'clock, so they're definitely hungry because I usually feed them once in the morning and once at night. So let's drop them a few pellets in and I'll get some close-up shots of their meeting. So let's drop them in now. All right, so let's go in this bag. Grab a good pinch, slide this door open. It's very hard because I'm holding my phone in the other hand. And let's drop them in and watch how nuts they go, especially the two Oscars. Proper, proper cool. And all them are literally basically all gone already. And I'll show you what I mean when I say Mark stuffs his face with the pellets. but he just eats and eats and eats. Mark is a bit bigger than Stephen, but Stephen's putting on some weight now. I think he was a bit of the grunt of the pack uh, when he was in the pet shop. So, cause he wasn't eating much when he first came and he was hiding a lot, but he's been more confident now. But as you can see, Mark's a bit more confident and look at them cheeks. His cheeks are now full and he is a, uh, if he looks over here, you can see the pellets all inside of his mouth. And he just stuffs his face till he gets like that. But we'll drop a couple more in because Stephen needs a couple more. But as you can see, Stephen's got a little tiny indent on his belly. It's not big and it's nothing to worry about. But we do want to chunk him up a bit more. And if Mark goes for more food, oh, look at him. His cheeks are huge. So he's just spat two ounce. It's ridiculous. He just eats and eats. Stephen needs a couple more and he'll be fine. And we have actually got, if you would notice, that's a new fish. And also, uh, where is the other one? That one down there, that's a new fish. But stay tuned for next week's video to see more about them. Right, so the fish are now fed. And if you do enjoy this sort of videos, let me know in the comments down below because if you want me to do more fish tank videos, I will happily do it because I really love doing it. And if you want me to get more tanks uh, and give me different fish ideas, then you're more than welcome to. But eventually, I will have a six foot tank here. But eventually, I will have a six foot tank here. You heard me mention it at the beginning of the video. But my mate, unfortunately, uh, pulled out of that deal because his six foot tank had a crack in it and he said it wasn't looking very good. So, uh, I'll give it a couple months because the Mark and Stephen can easily be in here for a few more months uh, before they need to go in a bigger tank. So, in a couple months' time, we will buy a six foot tank and put it across this wall here and we will put Mark and Steven in there and we might even get like an arowana or something, a silver arowana. So it'll probably be a 700 litre tank, maybe a bit more. If I, if I could get a thousand tank, I will because an arowana could do with about a thousand litres. But I was looking earlier and some places said they can be okay over 600 litres, but I disagree a bit. I think they need a bit more room than that. So I'll have a look, see if I can find any thousand litre aquariums in the next couple months. But these fish are absolutely awesome. The tank looks good. It does look a lot more empty now that angel fish are gone, uh, unfortunately. But it will be better suited for the fish. 
Marty, which is our clown loach, he's so confident now. He's always out, and he used to. I used to see him like once every week when he used to come out. He's rocks occasionally. Sid, the red tail shark, he's looking good. All the other stripey cichlids, I can't remember what the exact name are. They're looking good, and Mark and Stephen are looking good as well. And I can't wait for these to get big. So if you want to see updates on these, I'll post YouTube shorts of their progress in growing size. So make sure you check that out. But that is going to be coming up to the end of this week's video. But next next week's video, there's a brand new tank sitting right next to me right now. We built a stand for it and we added some fish to it. If you want to see that video, make sure you go down below, subscribe and hit that bell notification button. But other than that, I'll catch you next week's video.